Our next guest, a talented stand up comedian, and we're very excited to have him back with us here in the Ed Sullivan Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, Moody McCarthy. Let's hear it for Moody McCarthy. <laughs> Moody McCarthy. Moody McCarthy. Moody McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Moody McCarthy. I was always hoping to meet a woman with a raspy voice. That's very attractive to men. When we hear a woman with a raspy voice, we think, hey, maybe she's all done yelling. <laughs> so I got my teeth cleaned for the big show, and my dentist gives me the same lecture every visit. He says, you need a softer toothbrush. I go, okay. And then for 20 minutes, he scrapes my teeth with metal hooks. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I used to work in a bar and had a weight chart on the wall to help you figure out your blood alcohol content. And these guys would come up to the chart and go, all right, let's see if I can drive. I weigh 170. Okay, the chart said I could have four drinks. I had nine. I got to get up to 225. Here's my girlfriend's latest thing. She told me to grow a beard, <laughs> which I think is a little backhanded. Now, if someone has a beard, you can compliment their beard. But to tell someone with no beard to get one. <laughs> what she's really saying is, uh, hey, you know what would help your face? <laughs> Less of it. So I now have a dog. It's uh, technically my step dog. It's my wife's dog from a previous relationship. But I love him more. This dog has changed my life. You have to get one. If you feel unproductive, get a dog. Because when you see how little they do, oh, amazing. Oh, my God. Some bit of a sports nut. I, uh, I don't go to live events anymore, though, because all these new arenas and stadiums got the gigantic jumbotrons, right? And that was great until somebody invented the kiss cam. That's where the house camera just zooms in on a couple and they force you to kiss. And it scared the hell out of me and my sister at a Knicks game. <laughs> That's us. Katie, you want to piss off this crowd or go to therapy? What do you want to do? But here's what my wife does. Anytime she walks to the apartment alone, she calls me on the phone so I can protect her. <laughs> and I'm flattered by that. And I'm curious how she thinks I'm going to handle that situation. <laughs> He's got your purse? Yeah, put him on the phone then. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy, give her a purse back or I'll conference call the cops right now. <laughs> now, my wife is an only child, so early in our courtship, she was very interested in the logistics of a large family. And she used to ask me, she goes, when your whole family gets together, who cooks? I go, hon, here's the situation. Uh, my parents are both Irish. Irish parents have a ton of kids. And then they pray that one of them marries an Italian. <laughs> That's the Irish meal plan right there. Now, if you're from a big family and you celebrate Christmas, you might have the system we have. We don't get every sibling a gift. We pick one name. You just get one sibling a gift, right? And it worked out perfect last year. I picked my oldest brother, right? And I'll ask you, what do you think's a good present for someone who owes you money. I got him a gift certificate to me. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. Oh, look. That's right. That's what I told him. I told him, I go, that's right, Mark. I go, you remember that 400 you owe me? It's down to 380. Happy holidays. But being a parent's great. I love it. There's a perk I did not know about. If anyone's thinking about having kids, this is the greatest thing. As soon as you have a kid, from then on, you get to pretend that your opinion is more important than other people's. <laughs> no matter what's going on, I just go, whoa, 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 hold on. Hey, as a father. <laughs> of a little girl. Why would you throw a pass from the one yard line? <laughs> you guys are great. Thanks for having me. Have a good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, McCarthy. Good to have you here, sir. Nice job as always. Good morning, McCarthy, ladies and gentlemen. He's a very funny guy.